segment for all of our socialist friends out there. We have this story from Barons.com. I love the name. Russia's swift exclusion could spur cyber attacks. 10 stocks that could benefit. Oh my <laughs> oh my That's goodness. an amazing headline if I've ever seen it. So let me break that down. What were you saying about uh, moral decay, Lauren? Moral decay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah so exactly. SWIFT is the international payment system. It's like the Society for Worldwide, what is it, you know, international or something or whatever. Uh, yeah. Financial transactions. Yeah, there you go. I don't know, something like that. Uh, yeah, let's make it up. And uh, it's the banking system. So they're slowly kicking out Russia's banks from SWIFT, which I believe could result in Russia being unleashed. They're already sanctioned. They're already in this position. And now you're saying, we're going to remove any leverage we have over you outright. Just get so rid of it. So just backing them into a corner. Mm -hmm. Or unleashing them. Hmm. Letting them letting them off the hook. Letting, or letting them off the leash. Or ramp, or, what's, what's the quote? A man with nothing left to lose is a dangerous man. Or yes. Something. And so uh, I believe, you know, I said this before, that I think banning Russia from SWIFT would be a huge mistake because you're effectively escalating the conflict the most extreme way possible. Russia's now got no ties to these other countries or financial institutions. So if they nuke you, it won't affect them because you're now severed. You severed all those economic ties. Mm. Well, Barron's, excellent name, by the way, is saying you can benefit by, well, they're not saying you could. They're saying 10 stocks that could benefit. And they go on to list a bunch of companies like, hey, you know, you know what they're saying. They're basically telling people without telling them directly, buy these stocks. War is good for profits. Yeah. Always a way to make money in the markets, I suppose. And here I am yeah. trying to figure out what stocks they're telling me to buy. <laughs> Palantir. Oh, of course, Palantir. Yeah, yeah they say market. Palo Alto Networks, Zscaler, CrowdStrike, Tenable Holdings, Verana Systems, Fortinet, Telos, Mandiant, Palantir, and CyberArk Software. So is it ethical to make money off the decline? I don't... <laughs> I, I, why wouldn't it be? I don't even know what the word ethics means anymore. Can oh, you define that for enough. me? I mean... The set of that, I mean, the set of, I, but I guess so many of that, so much of that has become an individual thing rather than something we would all agree on. Nice. Yeah. There's this, sociological this, this, ethics and then there's yeah. personal ethics. This is a good question, though. Is it is it um, is it okay to profit off the decline of the United States? I, I tweeted out that I bought a bunch of uh, Russian vodka the other day before they banned it. And people were like, <laughs> "This is really unethical of you to go get embargoed products. Like, you want to make money off." And I'm like, "Well, you know what? It's not. I can't do anything to stop it." I yeah. think that. <laughs> As a society, it's unethical not to profit off of the decline of nature. Like the, the destruction and creation of nature, if we're not trying to profit off of it, then we're not doing our system justice. Well, what do you mean by the destruction of nature? And I guess also define profit. Oh, what if, too much, what if what the you, what, profiting off it makes it worse, like accelerates then it's it? Well, yeah, definitely okay. that's bad. Yeah. yeah. I, guess, I guess, you know, hold on. Right. A lot of people are probably going to say not true. Rip off the Band-Aid or peel it slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh Rip it off, but rip it with you've, the hair, seen, not against the hair. Have you seen that meme where it's like in the event of a nuclear strike, lay down, face towards the blast, and put your hands on your head. That way the, the blast hits your head sooner and you'll die faster. Huh. Oh my goodness. It's like, a, Yo, it's, it's like a dark meme. Was it unethical for them to tell Sorry. kids to duck and cover I in know. the Cold War? Get under your desk and then the nuclear blast, you you might have some chance to survive, which that's they wouldn't. True, and they knew they that's, wouldn't. That's, that's, you're wrong. No, yeah, it depends, oh, depending that, on the distance. Oh, if the distance in an earthquake, the, I see. Yeah, the, the initial blast radius for a lot of nuclear bombs is not... It's not as wide as people think. They think it's like 30 miles. Mm -hmm. It's like a half mile maybe, which is massive. There's a, there was this thing I think the New York Times did where they showed an overlay of different nuclear bombs and how it would affect Manhattan. And it's like, yeah, from river to river, Manhattan hit is hit. So if you're in, Jer if you're in Jersey City and, and Manhattan gets hit by a nuke, you're not in the immediate blast or radiation zone, but you're going to get hit by the shock wave. Cancer. So you see the light, you duck and cover because glass and oh, yeah. shards right. are going to go flying. Do you guys 